Welcome to the art room, my amazing artists. I am so excited that each one of you is here this year. And so we are going to be learning and doing all kinds of amazing art. But before we get started, we need to review a few things about the art room so that we know what to do and where to go. Once you are given an assigned seat in art, you'll notice at your table that your table has numbers that match up with each seat at the table. So if you're sitting right over here, you are number three. And if you're sitting where I am, you're number four. And it goes all the way around the tables. So if you are number four, you're in charge of doing all the number four jobs. To find your job for the day, you're gonna look at the art job board. So if you're in first grade, you're going to be looking at the first grade section, which you notice is orange. Everything in here that's first grade is orange. And you're gonna notice, oh, I was number four. So number fours are in charge of getting crayons today. Number threes are in charge of markers. Number twos are in charge of project collecting. Number ones are getting blue buckets. Number five is table captain. And we don't always have a number six, so I left that one blank. If your job is to get supplies, you'll find it at the supply table. So over here on the right side of the supply table above this sign are supplies that change depending on the projects that we do. And over on this side will stay the same. This is for the blue table bucket. So if you're number one, you're in charge of getting your blue table bucket. If you sit at the red table, you'll notice that the red table bucket is on this red placemat. And so you'll get your bucket from that placemat and at the end of the class, you'll return it there as well. During each art class, you guys get to play the art party together as a group. Each class, you can move up to three spaces and you wanna go all the way through to get to the art party at the end. Up here, each class has a tab and that tab will move depending on where you land. And some of the tiles have some extra prizes, some little mini prizes before you get to the art party like a funny YouTube video or a mini dance party. In order to move on the art party, you can earn three spaces that are represented by paintbrushes. So you can earn a paintbrush for listening and being respectful. You can also move a space for doing a good job cleaning up and you can move a space for working quietly. In the art room, you can earn art dollars. If you earn an art dollar, I'll hand you one and you write your name on the back. And then you take your art dollar and you bring it over to your pocket. So if you're in Miss Best class, you're gonna put your art dollar in that pocket. What I'm gonna do with the art dollars is during each class, I'm going to draw one of the art dollars in the pocket out and that person gets to win a prize. Not everybody will get to win a prize with every art dollar, but it enters you in a chance for a drawing to possibly win something, which is pretty cool. If you're having a hard time making good choices in art, we've got the warning board, five minute cool down and 10 minute cool down. So you'll start on the warning board if you're just making one bad choice, but you can move further along. If you end up on the red board, then you'll also get a note sent home to your parents explaining that we need to make better choices in art. When it's time to clean up at the end of class, each table has a folder where you can put any dry projects. So you'll take your project and put it inside your table folder when it's time to go. Then you need to make sure that you do your cleanup job and make sure that your table looks clean and empty. Then one person who's the project collector is in charge of taking the folder and bringing it over to the back counter. At the back counter, I'll have your classroom folder open on the top counter and you're gonna put your table folder in to join the rest. And then they'll go inside the drawer that matches up with the day that you have art class. If the art that you're working on is wet because we've been painting, you're going to take it and carefully bring it over to the black drawing rack. We always like to start at the bottom and when we put our papers in, we can fit four papers on each shelf. So we want to turn them so we can fit one, two, three, four. And then once that shelf is full with four projects, you can pull the next shelf down to fill up the next shelves. But we've got to make sure we always start at the bottom so we have room to fit everybody's projects. If you finish a project early and everybody's still working and there's still more time left in the class, 
and you've shown me your project and I said, okay, you can turn it in, then you get to come to the free choice shelf. Over at the free choice shelf, we've got drawing paper, we've got dry erase boards, we've got coloring supplies, how to draw books, games, reading books, blocks, and clay. You may take these back to your seat and work quietly. There's just one more thing I wanted to go over before we get started today. When I say hands on top, you guys are going to say, everybody stop. Then you're gonna put your hands on your head, your eyes are gonna be on me, and your voices are turned off because you're listening. So I'm about to give you a very important direction. So let's practice that. Hands on top. Awesome, good job guys. Well, let's get started. So let's listen for the next direction. <laughs> 